Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at Wave 7. So this set I got, uh, well if you saw the unboxing video, I got off of eBay. Uh, it was a little expensive. And it leaked right before PulseCon I think. I think, it might have been shortly after. But it was pretty quick shipping, uh, I got it within a week. And honestly, I'm pleased with the Wave. I think it's a pretty good Wave. I do have a couple problems here. Um, We'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's start off with the Green Ranger. Let's start off with the Green Ranger. Let's put these off to the side. Let's start off with Tommy. So this Tommy we've gotten before, but it's a little bit different. So he comes with the Sword of Darkness. He comes with his Dragon Dagger, which looks pretty good. Let me put it in the holster. The holster is on the left side this time, instead of the right side, like the uh, Fighting Spirit one, which I have right here so they are a little bit different from each other you can see it the gold or sorry the silver lining along the helmet I'll have more pictures up you also get a lightning effect that is a little bit lighter in color it's more of a lime color here and then we also have one fist one left fist you have one dragon dagger playing hand put that here and you also get the Tommy Oliver head. So this one is the one with the headband. So that would have been cool to get if we had the, um, you know, a Jason and Tommy versus Tupac from that one episode when they're at the tournament. Uh, but anyway, this figure is pretty much identical to the other one that we got. So we get two pairs of hands to grab. So I use them as claws. You get the shield which is a little bit more gold than the Fighting Spirit one. Uh, you get the butterfly joints, they're painted in white, and there's a one issue, there are no diamonds underneath the shield, so that's a shame. The gold, or yeah, the, the marker is gold, the holster is black, and on the right side, the left side, the boots are the same, the gloves are the same, you get these armbands that we've been using since the San Diego Comic-Con um, Armored Red Ranger figure. And you get the helmet, which is the same. It's just, um, you know, it doesn't have the silver paint along the, the helmet. So one thing, I think this one, the helmet on this one is slightly better than this one. It's not that I like the silver lining along the helmet. I actually prefer the original helmet, but this is painted white and the teeth are painted silver, so this has better paint, well, better paint applications along the helmet or along the visor. So, you know, that's that. Uh, what a lot of people are doing, because this one does come with the diamonds underneath, a lot of people are swapping the belt. So this bottom part, they're swapping it out for this one. So and then they're changing the helmets, that's about it. Yeah, so you only really need to change the belt and helmets, and then you're all set. But, you know, they're pretty much identical. I think the shade of green is slightly different. I can't really tell, some people are pointing it out. I think this one might be a little bit lighter in color. Um, but that's about it, yeah. I think he looks pretty good. He can hold the dagger pretty well. He can hold the Sword of Darkness, although I still think it's a little too short, so, the effect piece just slides on like that and you can hold it and it's a pretty nice effect if you use it and that's pretty much it for the green ranger so all the detail is there the belt has the dragon coin there it has all the necessary detail the wrinkles along the suit the shield looks good the proportions are fine the dragon dagger is sculpted and it does have uh you know decent amount of paint so that's that I wonder if this one no this one's exactly the same yeah, so that's about it for this one so part of this wave also had the white ranger um, I didn't see uh, the seller sell the wave 7 one for but for what I'm uh, but from what I'm seeing it's pretty much identical to this one so there's not that big of a difference um, you know you get the very first figure that we got or we saw previews of the belt is slightly different you get the little buckle holder in the back you get the Ranger belt in the front 
you get the cuffs along the boots and the, and the forearms. You get the sleeves with the gold trim. You get the shield, which looks good. The tiger coin. The helmet, which looks amazing. Die Ranger is one of my favorite Sentai seasons. I love the suits and the aesthetic. And you also get Saba. So we'll put him off to the side because I'm sure you guys have heard about him so many times. Uh, next we have the Z Putty. So Z Putty is pretty much identical to the regular putties, which I have a bunch of right here. Um, yeah, there we go. Here we have a putty. So yeah, it's pretty much identical. The only difference is that this one is a lot darker, and the face actually has some darker um, gray paint to it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the gloves are the same. Now, one thing you will notice is that this one comes with a couple more hands. So, if we take a look at the accessories, you get one grabby hand, which he doesn't have. You get another grabby hand, which he does have on the right side. You get one right fist, which is new, this one didn't have. And you get the same open hand on the left hand. So that is one of the accessories that you do get. You also get this thing. I don't remember this thing. Did I put it in the wrong one? I might have put it in the wrong one. <laughs> and you also get, well, I'll have to double check. I think, I don't think it belongs there. And you also get this effect piece, which you can attach to the fist pretty easily. So it's very similar to uh, the blue uh, Beast Morpher Rangers and you can just attach it like that. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, no belt. I do think having no belt looks a little bit strange, but we'll have to get used to that because KK Ranger or the Jungle Fury suits don't have belts. I can't wait for that. Another big difference is the boots. So these guys have Sentai boots. These guys do not. These guys have, I think they kind of look like wrestler boots. You get the laces nicely sculpted. You get the Z knee pads, and you also get the Z shield at the body which has the Z logo on the chest. And one of the accessories that you do get with this set is very similar to the one that you got with the two pack for the putties. It's this exact same one, but as some people have speculated, it's for the Z putty. So this one is in blue. I do prefer this, this color over the blue one. Um, it does have the slot for the coin for the logo up on the chest and this slides on pretty easily, it settles there. This one will attach to anyone, so you can have your uh, putties fighting each other or fighting the rangers, and you know, you can either put them on the rangers or put them on the putties, they're compatible, they'll work. Um, and you know, I, I like it, I think it's pretty nice, a pretty nice accessory to have. And then last but not least, this is gonna be a pretty quick review, last but not least, is, I don't know why these videos are longer than they should be. Okay, let's put it there. One, two. Last but not least is the Dino Thunder Red Ranger. The Dino Thunder Red Ranger. So this is the figure I was most excited for. So not only is he different than, you know, um, Mighty Morphing, even though it's, it is a dinosaur themed ranger, but it is not the same season. I used to think it was, I used to think it was just like a reboot or something. But this is one of my favorite figures and I think it looks really good alongside the Dino Charge Ranger and I'll have to pry him from there, right there, the Red Ranger, the original Red Ranger. So, you know, these guys as a set look great and if, even if you have your Beast Morpher Ranger here, you can recreate a lot of the art or a lot of the pictures from the uh, the team up for um, Goldbusters versus Curiouger or the Power Rangers Beast Morphers team up. Okay, so it's very nice to see all of this. That's probably one of my favorite things. Anyway, so let's put these guys back up to the side. Things keep falling on me all the time. You get a lot of detail along the side of the body. You get the triangles here. Diamonds here, sorry, diamonds here, diamonds here, diamonds here. Uh, you get the logo, the footprint on the chest for Bakudu Sentai Alpha Ranger. You get these triangles on the back of the hands painted and sculpted. You also get the morpher 
which is nicely sculpted, and it has the Triceratops head, or, or sorry, Tyrannosaurus' uh, little plate thing. Um, these, yes, these are sculpted for the old trim, those are sculpted. And the back of the belt looks identical to the one for the White Ranger. I think the Mighty Morphing Rangers don't have this little square that a lot of the suits have, the Sentai suits have. Uh, you get the seam right here for the zipper. You get a lot of details, so many seams that the suits have. Uh, butterfly joints, which work really well. You get the holster, which, you know, this should go in a little bit deeper. So the way this one had it, I'm just gonna have to find it. I hope not. Where'd it go? Right, somewhere in there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the, uh, yeah, hold on. You stay there. The, the uh, legacy one had a little slit here. So you could slide this in there, like that. And it had the logo for the for the season on here. This one does not. So, you know, this one has its upsides. This one also does too. And then you also can put it next to the blue ranger that you got with the team of three pack. Here we go. And it looks pretty good. Um, this blaster is different from the one from the team up. So this one is a lot easier to put on his hand uh, for any poses. Uh, another thing you also get, oh, that reminds me. You also have a body killer or the white Dino Thunder Ranger. Oh, I dropped a lot of stuff. So there are very few things that I have um, against for this figure. So. Actually, let's finish talking about the accessories first. So you also get that same weapon in sword form. So here you go. Um, he can hold it, no problem. You can pose him with that. He also comes with a little effect piece for that. You can just slide it in this way. Uh, this way. See, there we go. See, that looks good. That looks pretty cool. And you also get two other pairs of hands. So the ones that I have on are the non-grabby hands. He does come with a pair of grabby hands and the back of the hand is painted. So that's good. Uh, for this one, it is not. For him, it's not either. It's fine, we'll talk about him another time. The helmet looks really good. The eyes look good. The, sh the, the lining around the visor should be white, but it's not. And then last but not least, you get the staff, the Tyranno staff. Now, I wish this was articulated where it could close its mouth, but as it is, it's fine. It's nice, it's a pretty pretty good size for, for it. Uh, you get the gold here. Um, the head is not painted. You know, you only get a little bit along the sides of the cheeks. And you also get this little trigger thing for the opening and closing. This does not fold. And I wonder how they're gonna do it so that the weapons can combine. So I wish it had a little bit more paint, the little diamonds along the top, but I understand why they didn't. One, it would be too expensive, and the more you use it, the harder, or sorry, not the harder, but you know, the more you're gonna scratch it. Overall, I think it's a pretty good lineup. I think it could be better. I am slightly disappointed that, you know, we ended up getting a re-release of a figure. Um, especially the first from Wave 1. Um, I did hear that they're gonna re-release the red Galaxy Ranger also. So, you know, for the people that didn't get it, I think it's going to be a good opportunity for them to get it again. Um, if, yeah, uh, for example, I wanted to get an extra one uh, so I could keep in box. And I had all the time in the world to get another one. And the moment I decided to get one, the price went up. <laughs> so I was hunting for another White Ranger and I found it at Barnes and Noble. Uh, and then a couple days later, Wave 7 was announced, and turns out you get another White Ranger. A lot of people had thought that it was either going to be a pretty metallic, uh, because they did announce uh, metallic uh, MMPR pink with the um, ninja coins. Um, but yeah, I think it would have been cool either to just have a repaint, but not a straight up re-release. I'm going to have to wait to, um, till it, the wave actually comes out in New Jersey, or I get my pre-orders. Um, 
to see if there's any big differences. But this is the original one with one. Oh, it has a little bit of a. Hmm. Interesting. It's a good thing I'm getting another one. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's a solid wave. Um, this one is definitely the best one. This one's pretty good, uh, just because it's you know we've gotten this figure already three times. What I mean by three times, armored Red Ranger. You get the Fighting Spirit uh, Green Ranger. You get the armored uh, Black Ranger, and now you get this one. So you know it's basically the same figure with. You know, just different paint apps, different head, and in this case, a different belt. Um, so yeah, it's not really that much different. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to have the regular Green Ranger. And then, you know, Z Putty, not bad, but we got the two pack recently, and I guess they're different characters, and I guess this is different enough where it's not necessarily the same thing, but it is nice to have. Again, reissue, pretty much identical. This one, this one's the best one. It's because it's something different. And I think it, it helps a lot because it's not an NPR. Um, you know, Dino Thunder is a lot of fun. And I have a feeling they released it because of the team up. So that's probably one of the bigger reasons. So yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, please try to check out my other ones. I made an unboxing video. You can see the, uh, the boxes that came with these figures. It's the first time I'm not doing the boxes in the same video. And then I also got my Wood Dragon. I'm going to try to make an unboxing for that in a little bit. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with these. This one is definitely my favorite. Um, I can't wait for the next wave. There are so many new Lightning Collection figures that I'm looking forward to. The monsters, the Sphinx, and the pumpkin thing. <laughs> I, I forget their names. I know King Sphinx that one. Uh, they are supposed to be taller, so we'll see how it works out with this with this scale. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram at LoveyMush, check out my Twitter at LoveyMush, my Facebook LoveyMush Productions. I need to post in that one. I have a Patreon if you want to check that out. Um, I have, I'm going to try to release whatever new animations that I have as soon as they're done there. So if you want to take a look at them there, you can. Uh, I'll, yeah, just check out my Instagram. I have a lot of information there. I, I post there pretty much every day. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And goodbye.